Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Boy, what a difference a day will make. Uh, today's beautiful. Tomorrow we're supposed to get all kinds of rain and trouble. Anyway, you guys remember the Honda 250X. Um, and I started working on it and realized I didn't have the um, needle valve for this thing. And uh, my, uh, my buddy Bill... Statton, William Statton, uh, offered me a carburetor, so um, we're going to close that deal. And now that I'm back from my son's house, I can resume normal uh, operations, normal videotaping and so forth. So what I did is I put my portable CDI box on this. This is the standard box, it's not the... Castello, Castello, however one says it. And I got my gas line here. And you'll actually, um, yeah, I don't know if you're seeing bubbles or whatever. But let's see if I can, wait, there it goes. Another bubble came up. So I have, this is my gas tank, gas line, whatever. I have it all hooked up. And I gave it a kick to see if it would um, pop. And it did. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to give it another little little hoot of starting fluid. Um, because I'm not, I'm not big with uh, jumping up and down on this Kickstarter. You know, it, uh, my uh, hip is good, but I just as soon keep it that way. So let's give it a little, little hoot. the starting fluid close the choke up okay everything looks like it's hooked up and let's give it a shot let's see if she'll fire up for us I gotta put the camera down because I like I like have to hang on to things so let's see how she does So, probably ran out of gas, but she actually, uh, she sounds pretty good. Um, what I did was, let me just show you, I used my, um, standard, what is these, P27 carburetors, and, you know, hacked up linkage, um, and I have a, Plumbing, some plumbing pieces and brass I soldered together. And then the um, inlet hole was uh, too too small. So what I did is I um, I wrapped tape around it till it was big enough. I mean we're talking we're talking some real hacking here. So um, now I got it running. I um, wanted to get it running basically to see what I have. Um, I didn't show you because it was difficult, but um, I did 
I did get it popping and I popped it into gear and let the the clutch out and it did go forward three inches before I stalled it uh, on the first try so um, it did go into gear and the clutch did work um, so it looks it looks like this thing looks like all I really need to do is put it back together again and uh, I got a runner here um, yeah I gotta catch up with Bill and close up on the carburetor um, also Mike um, ATC Mike Mike ATC um, he gave me some uh, jets and so forth uh, basically a rebuild kit and I uh, I have to take a look at that to see if it's the right right stuff to go into the carburetor um, I'm not sure if the 250x yeah 250x uses the same carb as the 300 ES EX 300 EX I'm not sure if that's the same carb or not I mean off the top of my head the bikes like look like a lot of stuff is interchangeable this one might be just a touch longer um, the 300 EX might be a touch longer so um, I'm getting there personally for me um, given the way my um, knee and hip is I normally prefer bikes that I can pull start my my very much preference is pull start um, because I don't have any troubles with my arms currently so once again I prefer the pull start models um, given a choice between electric pull or kick I would I would go with pull starts if second I would go with electric start I'm not madly in love with electric start stuff but that would be my second choice lastly would be kick I kind of like the Dakota because it has pull start and electric start my battery's about to die so let me say au revoir uh, folks keep your feet down keep your head up and please get out there and enjoy all your days when you get a nice one like today get out there and do something with it don't let it pass by God knows how many more we're going to get before winter really sets in. All right, folks, take care now. Bye.